Hey everybody, this is a short video on how to put a mullion and a piece of glass in a generic wall. Um, here's a uh, storefront window and, the, and what I did was just, uh, if we go into the uh, plan view here, uh, I, sele I just drew this wall just to show what a wall looks like uh, uh, and compare it to uh, the other wall that we're going to put the uh, window in. Uh, basically if I if I select this um, this wall uh, and hit edit type you'll see that, that in these uh, type properties it'll have the spacing and so forth so uh, we can adjust the mullion size I mean uh, depth and height and width of the mullion just by um, changing these parameters right there but uh, what I want to show on this video is how to make a uh, just a generic window in um, in this wall here with mullion and uh, what, what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and cut a little section here so I can look at this wall you know go ahead and and put it into shaded view and uh, I'll edit the profile and cut a little hole in this in this wall okay so we're, we're done with that and uh, I'll go back onto the to the plan view and if you look there's no little lines right here and the reason is is because out of the box uh, everything is set to four feet for the cut plane so basically if it's higher you're not going to see it so I'll go back into this uh, uh, window and of course if you just want this window to be this high then you're gonna have to adjust your cut plane but for the purpose of this video I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just uh, lower it down a little bit and hit finish and go back in there and you'll see that the window appears because it's going through the cut plane now so I'm gonna put a piece of glass inside there uh, like a commercial piece of glass and uh, I'll, I'll select uh, wall and uh, I'll go into just uh, exterior glazing and put this right in here okay so there it is um, and I, I can you can move this back and forth however you you, you need to set it and we'll go into uh, 3d mode and you'll see that it's awfully high so it's it's way past the, the, the size of the, of the opening so you know the reason is because I, I have it unconnected I can put uh, 10 feet just to bring it to the same height of the of the uh, wall here so we can start working with it okay go back into this section view and it, here you can see my glass and my if I just go ahead and just hover over this glass here you'll see that it goes all the way to the floor and all the way to the ceiling so we can adjust that just by clicking on it and go ahead and just uh, I'll stop it right there and do the same thing with uh, the bottom put it right there now if I go into 3d mode you'll see that there's actually a grid line right in here you can remove that grid line if you like I'm having trouble spinning my project around okay so now we're just going to add mullion right here it's really simple uh, way of doing it now that I have the edge of the glass to the same size as the opening I'll select mullion it, it selected the default two and a half by five inch mullion uh, you can adjust that or whatever mullion or custom mullion you want to put in there that's fine and I'll go ahead and just click right here and, and you, I, I always always do this in 3d mode because it's a lot easier and uh, we'll go ahead and click and then I have to actually go up on this one and click there so that looks about that looks about right there so there's a a uh, a window now it's also got that grid in it because I made it bigger it's set the it's set at the parameters here so I can click that here and it, the way to get rid of that is you have to unpin it okay and then you'll hit delete and it'll just go away and so that's a simple way of doing a commercial fixed opening with mullion around it and you can change the color of the mullion or whatever you want to do in your type properties and and you guys probably know how to do all that anyways that's a short video of uh, of an opening with uh, mullion thanks for watching